Are you looking for information about the Canadian economy, our consum consumption habits, and other different kinds of things? Well, I have just the website for you. It, this Statistics Canada has an extensive data portal directly on the free web, and I want to take a few minutes of your time to explore it with you just to show you what's available from StatScan uh, so that you could complement the papers that you're writing at JMSB. So if you go here, uh, I'm on the free web. I'm on statscan.gc.ca. So just you know, use your favorite search engine to get there. Uh, and uh, pick your language. Let's do English. Uh, there are a lot of things on this website that you could explore, that you could use. Uh, I'm, I want to focus on the data option right here uh, in this video. I also have a couple of videos about the census uh, that you could use for market research, uh, demographic variables. So I'll let you uh, watch those. It's on my channel. Uh, but if you uh, let's take some time to just go to the data. Now, the reason why I want to show you the data uh, portal is that you could actually create custom tables with this website. You could go into a data series and configure the variables and different ways to show it um, uh, and download this data so that you could in import it into a spreadsheet program. So the point here is uh, I definitely want you to explore this website because this is free information about Canada, super uh, interesting, super trustworthy, um, high value, and it's provided for free by the Canadian government. So here's how it works. Now, what this system has is over 8,600 data tables, right? That's a lot, and they're filed by subject. So why don't we, you know, you should take a bit of time just to explore the list of the different topics that are covered in the system. Uh, you could explore that to get a sense of the kinds of words that StatsCan uses to describe some of the common things that we're interested about. So, uh, you know, for example, it talks about uh, labor, employment, time use, retail trade. These are the very specific expressions that are used by StatsCan to describe things that you may be interested in. So before you actually do any kind of searching, please consider taking 20 minutes, half an hour, just poking around these different categories to understand the words that are used. So you have subjects, uh, you also have like the different geographical levels, so those are also worth it to check out. Um, well, frequency, obviously, but also the different statistical surveys and programs. So uh, honestly, this is the list of all the different topics that StatsCan reports on, and a lot of them could be totally interesting for your project, right? Uh, and you wouldn't know they exist unless you took some time to just explore what's available. So a, a tip on that one. Now. I've listed here some, some of my favorite data series that I recommend uh, often for projects that uh, are done at JMSB. So let's just take a, a couple of moments. I'm going to show you the first one, House, Household Spending by Quintiles. Just to illustrate how the system works, how to what do we expect from it, how to manipulate the data and export it. Uh, it's, it's not super obvious, so let's just do that together. So what I'm going to do here is on the keyword search, I'm going to type this. Now, I know this specific expression because I know it exists and I've used it before and I spent a lot of time exploring it. Uh, so don't take my word for it. Make sure that you explore on your own time. But uh, if nothing else, this one is definitely interesting. So uh, household spending by Quintiles. What this gives me is a data table. See, I only get 25 hits. I get a data table that's going to give me uh, spending by household, but for the affluent the most affluent to the less affluent population. So what StatsCan has done is it's taken all the households in the country and placed it in five buckets, essentially, from the most affluent to the least affluent. And then it's kind of recalculated the aggregate values of all the spending items and provided you access to it. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It's, this is ex probably something that you will definitely use for your project. Uh, so let's go click through here. And so the default option is at the Canadian level, all quintiles, so that's everybody, and average expenditure per household. So that we could already see that the total expenditure for an average Canadian household is $86,070. Uh, and then you get uh, a bit of detail about you know, which are the different you know, uh, expense items, clothing, transportation, all of these different topics. And some of them are subdivided and others not. Now, that's the default level. Uh, but please, 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 please remember to click Add or Remove Data. This is where the, the, the money's at in this system. That's really the amazing part. So let's click here, click here on Add, Remove Data. And 
uh, then you get to fiddle with the statistics and the variables. Now, the first thing I notice is the geography. Uh, I could uh, actually get data maybe for Quebec. And let's compare Quebec and Ontario just because we can. Let's say you're opening up a restaurant and you're wondering whether you should open it in Toronto or Montreal. So, hey, compare both um, uh, because you can and it's there and it's free. The next thing is um, it, it's, it gave me all the quintiles, but maybe if I select, let's say, the highest quintile and the lowest quintile, so we'll compare the most affluent to the least affluent population in this country. Um, next up is, uh, let me just clear all, is all of the expense items. Now, in the report we have here, we have like the first summary level, which is basically this kind of level with maybe a few others. but. Notice it, it, it goes actually a lot deeper. Uh, there are certain data points that you could be interested in that didn't make it into the, you know, into the this level of reporting. So you could uh, totally get a more detailed level than what's available below. Uh, so let's do restaurants and uh, let's do pet expenses just because I want to compare, give you some examples. So let's do pet food pet expenses and select all of those, okay? So what I've done is I've changed the variables that are included in my final report, okay? Uh, so that's here. Uh, the reference period, I'll just uh, include one year to make the table a little bit easier to read on this YouTube video, uh, but you could obviously keep many years uh, on there and uh, do uh, really nice graphs in, in your spreadsheet program like Excel or whatever. The last thing is I'm going to customize the layout and make the geography as rows because that also makes it into a nice pivot-like table. Uh, pivot table. And then I'm going to apply. And so the point here is when you get to a data table on the data portal from StatScan, um, you get kind of like the top line report, but then there's a complete way to, uh, uh, you know, get your own data table. Now, here's what's going on. Now we have a very different uh, table here. We have geography is either Quebec and Ontario. So we went from like the national average to the uh, provinces. And then instead of having like the first two levels of whatever um, the expense items people were spending their money on, we actually went a lot deeper and got more interesting results below. And then we only have uh, the lowest quintile is the least affluent population, and the highest quintile is the most affluent. So it's like the top 20% and the bottom 20%. And then we could see how their spending changes, right? Now, this happens sometimes. This little F means that the data is uh, too unreliable to be published. See, that's what that F means. There's like a, a, a legend, a symbol key below. That's what it That's what it means if you have notes like that. So the stats can didn't feel comfortable releasing the information. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So just FYI. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the idea from, from, from this data portal is that once you find a data table that's interesting, uh, you could use the add and remove data option, add remove data option, use that button to go deeper into the different subcategories and get a custom report. Now, you could do this, come back, play, you know, add data elements, remove data elements, and then when you're comfortable with it, you just download. And uh, you could use a comma separated values file, CSV, uh, and uh, upload it to your spreadsheet programs and make some custom um, tables and, and, and graphs. So um, explore this uh, explore this website. This is a free website from StatScan, uh, and it provides detailed information about Canadian consumers. Sometimes you're looking for things that you know are too precise. StatScan doesn't go to a level of precision, but my my best advice I could give you is. Uh, use this system and, and whatever you find, try to incorporate it into your uh, project. Sometimes you'll have to do your own survey to dig deeper into uh, some possibilities uh, for your local communities, but it's always a good starting point to use uh, these uh, statistics from StatsCan at this level. I'm Olivier Charbonneau, Concordia University librarian, just going through the data portal from Statistics Canada. Have a great day.